This game is really fun. It was a Kickstarter project for March 2013, but it finally came out in mid-2014 for Steam, the Nintendo Wii U, and the 3DS on the eShop. It's an action platformer with a retro style. You know, like if Castlevania, DuckTales, and Super Mario Bros. 3 had a threesome baby. You play as a knight wielding a shovel. Shovel Knight! And you're out to save your companion, Shield Knight, that you lost sight of a long time ago in the Tower of Fate. I'm sure they're like a couple or something, but anyways. You go through each stage hitting enemies with your shovel, and then you fight a really cool boss at the end. Each one is super unique and challenging. Is that a tank? There are different runes that you can find throughout the game. They're like weapons, like this thing. And this cool looking thing. And this... thing. And you can find money to buy upgrades for your health, your magic, your shovel, your armor, and you can buy more runes with it. There's a world map, so you can actually select what stage you want to go to next. You can even replay the ones you've already done, which is really cool. Oh my god, dreaming about my shield knight, my girlfriend. I mean, what? The level designs are superior to so many games out there. Each level has its own theme, and they're extremely unique. You will never feel like you're doing the same thing again. Each stage is like a new adventure. The controls are super smooth and precise. With good level design, if you die, it's your own fault, not the games. There are so many checkpoints in all the stages, so if you die, no, not a problem, but you can actually destroy them and get even more gold out of it. But of course, if you die after that, well, <laughs> This game also lets you do a new game plus, but it's so much harder. All the enemies do like twice the amount of damage, and then they take away all the food in the stage so you can't even recover health anymore. What the heck? Well, points for replayability. The music's fantastic. Just listen to it. It's the same sound artist from Double Dragon Neon, and he did a really freaking good job with this soundtrack, so go buy it. There'll be a link here, 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 and here. I do have one complaint. If you've played it, then you know what I'm talking about. That face locket, it's stupid broken. It's way too useful. I don't even know why I would use anything else unless given a very specific situation, which only happened a few times to me. Okay, I lied. I do have another complaint. This game is way too short. What the heck? But I mean, it doesn't stop it from being a fantastic game, but I mean, I just wish there was more. I want more of this game. <laughs> so all in all, great game. I don't regret kickstarting this at all, and if you're a platformer fan, you definitely won't regret buying this. This game gets a 9.5 out of 10.